Hi guys! What is up people? Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine for you guys while doing a QA. and a Also, I'm faded AF. <laughs> I'm gonna link all the products that I used down below and then also some of my favorite products that I didn't use if like I used another thing in the same category. You're just gonna get all the tea down below. Just look down below, the links will be there. <laughs> also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. Instagram has been literally restricting my account these days. Like, my content isn't shown to people who aren't following me. So I'm not able to reach any new people, which kind of sucks. But yeah, if you found me on YouTube, you should follow me on Instagram. Because they are literally shadow banning me. <laughs> also, very, very quick, I have merch. Check it out if you want to. The link will also be down below. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into the questions. <laughs> How did you start making content? Okay, so I started posting YouTube videos at like 14 years old, but actually I had an account before that and I wasn't allowed to, but I did it anyways behind my mom's back. I think I was like 12 and it was a kawaii clay charms channel. Yep, but at 14 I started making like fashion and beauty videos and it kind of was because I've always been kind of a loner I'm an only child. I grew up with a single mom. Like she always worked. I had nobody to talk to I literally just was like this weird loner kid who had unregulated internet access So I saw like all these youtubers like Michelle Fawn, Bethany Moda, who else? Like all of those and I wanted to be like them. I wanted to make YouTube videos. So yeah, I started making YouTube videos. That channel ended up growing to like 200,000 subscribers. Sorry, I'm literally trying to dry my face. <laughs> and yeah, that was literally only the beginning because now we're here on a whole new channel, which if you don't know my lore, I basically stopped posting to my other channel because I mainly did fast fashion content and I stopped supporting fast fashion in like 2019. I don't know. I just felt really disconnected from the content on there. And also, I don't want to leave those videos up because I don't want to have like literally me Emily Lee on a video saying hi you should go buy this from Shein no so I deleted all those videos and yes I lost a lot of money doing that but I don't know my integrity is worth way more than a check I don't know I've always made questionable business decisions because I really care about like my morals and ethics I look so pale in the camera what the hell promise you not that Maybe this is the wrong shade for me. But yeah, I'm happy that I'm in the cannabis industry now because like, I don't know, I feel like I could focus more on like wellness and lifestyle. And I've always used weed in my life since I'm 16 years old. It always made me feel better. Oh, that leads us to our next question actually. Why did you start to smoke? Honestly, I was like 16. My friends smoked, my boyfriend smoked. I went to an art school. People were literally doing coke in the bathroom i'm not joking i had a crush on a guy who did coke in the bathroom and then like four years later we went on a date and i didn't like him anymore <laughs> but yeah i don't know i smoked and i think i just kind of like felt good my teenage years were not great at all i lived in such a toxic household and i was like so depressed like literally so depressed that like my ex-boyfriend's mom literally called my mom and was like you need to go home to your daughter because she's not okay and my mom yelled at her and said don't talk about my daughter that way but his mom was right. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I always was like looking to try something. And in high school, I drank a lot after school. As I said, I was in an art school. I was a music major. I was in orchestra. I played violin, which sounds so crazy right now. Like I can't believe I played violin. But we would have concerts after school and we'd get drunk before the concerts and then go on stage and do the concerts. Haha, <laughs> more Emily lore that did not need to be said on the internet, but now is said. I never liked how I felt when I was drunk, and I always got sick when I was drunk. I have GERD. One of the main things that my body cannot digest is alcohol, so I'd rather stay away from it. Anyways, I'm faded, so I think I just went on a rant for no reason. But I guess what I'm saying is I'm happy I stuck with weed. 
<laughs> I could have tried worse in high school. There was worse around me, but I've always been scared of drugs. Like, I know that's like crazy for me to say because I'm like a weed influencer. But yeah, addiction does run in my family. And I even went to like NA meetings growing up, like as a kid, not for myself, but because I'd go with my dad, he'd just take me there. I literally don't know why he would take me there. And it's like, I literally grew up around so many addicts and so many of my dad's friends ODing and even like in my mom's circles, like drugs and addiction was always around. So I've always been scared of getting addicted to drugs. I know it's in my bloodline. I don't know. I'm very proud of myself for never like going further. I'm happy that I just liked weed. Weed just made me feel so good. Weed was so like calming. I like music. I like listening to music while high. I like chilling. I like being a homebody. Like weed was it for me. <laughs> Oh my god, did we only do two questions? I'm talking so much. Okay, I'm gonna do my lip stain first because I cannot talk while doing this. <sighs> that is the best I'm gonna get it. I hate messing up with this product because if you kind of like overline it weird or you make the line wobbly, it's stuck there. How is the transition from being vegetarian to vegan going? I have to say, I do feel a lot healthier right now in this moment. I am finally gaining weight. I still eat mostly vegan food, to be honest. I still have big icks about certain items. I really do not like consuming dairy. Sometimes eggs give me the ick. Cheese is a 100% no cheese i i i don't know i'm actually really disgusted by cheese i know a lot of people are not gonna like hearing that but i am very disgusted by cheese <laughs> cottage cheese cheese curdles like cur blue cheese Ow. I often think about going vegan again, I'm not gonna lie, but I will say like just for convenience wise It's so much easier to be vegetarian for four years I was vegan and for those four years it was so complicated to eat with my family like Some people would like say weird stuff about it or make remarks about it or whatever But it mostly was just like really difficult to like have a full meal when I was like at a family function So I started eating before everything and I wouldn't even eat with my family and then it was just an awkward experience I also felt like I was missing out on so many things like birthday parties I could never eat the cake and I like always had to say no to the cake and deep down inside I was like it sucks that I can't eat cake right now. I think now I'm just like able to like experience more things and I think that that's good for me mentally at the moment. But to be honest, if it's like an ice cream cake or something, I'm saying no. <laughs> if it's a cheesecake, but yeah, now I'm kind of like thinking about going back vegan. I don't know, I like to say I'm vegetarian with very vegan tendencies. I go back and forth, you know? I will say though, like, at this point of my life, I have a better relationship with food, I'm gaining weight, I am learning what my body can digest and what it can't, and it's all kind of working for me at the moment. <laughs> my body, in general, cannot digest a lot of things. As I said before, like, alcohol is one of them, coffee is another, and get this, get this. Tomatoes, onions, garlic, pineapple, orange, lemons, limes, a lot of things. So imagine you have to avoid eating all of those vegetables and then you're also vegan. And I realize it's just really unhealthy to restrict myself like that when my body already has a lot of issues with food. I often like feel guilty about it. Like I'll feel guilty that I'm not vegan anymore. And I kind of also really appreciate when people are like nice about it. I think a lot of people in the vegan community are kind of like mean about these kind of things and it's just always nice when someone is nice about it because I already feel guilty but maybe one day I'll get back to the point where it's like a sustainable diet for me and we'll see for now I just eat vegan when I can I literally just ate a vegan pizza before filming this video and it had tomatoes am I gonna feel sick later maybe 
People always ask me this, so I'm gonna answer this question. How to get over a bad breakup? Help a girl out. Hmm, I feel like you have to like fall back in love with yourself. You need to like find your hobbies again, find your friends, go out, do things that you love, find who you are as an individual. I feel like I'm the type of person to kind of like get lost in a relationship. And then if whoever I'm dating like doesn't want to go do things that I want to do, like I just won't go do those things. I don't like that. I feel like it's always been important for me to like reconnect with myself after a breakup And it always 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 helps me and also just know that If you guys are not together right now, it's because you're not meant to be with them right now And that the universe literally has a better plan for you a better person for you And when you find that or whenever that happens, you're literally gonna think like wow Like I was sad about that like that's kind of like how i see it now like i feel like every person that i've had a breakup with it's been for a reason and i look back at it and i'm like nah yeah <laughs> like, why were we together <laughs> which i don't know if that's mean or i just don't know if that's like a realization of self-worth and confidence but like every time i have a breakup i'm like yo why was i even with them like awkward and just know that you do not need anybody but yourself you'll always pick yourself back up time always heals stuff and you're gonna literally fall in love with other stuff that's not that person like maybe you'll fall in love with a new artist a new show a new hobby maybe you'll find new friends who show you so much love that's like better than a partner <laughs> Just keep your head up and know that you guys aren't together for a reason and like don't wish for you guys to be back together again because that's just wishing for what's kind of like not meant for you because if it was meant for you you would be together that's how i kind of see it what way of consumption is your least favorite let me think about this what are the ways what how how can we consume roll it up bong pipe dab edibles vape tincture hmm. i wouldn't say i dislike any of them but i don't know i feel like any answer i give is going to be controversial somebody's going to be mad maybe dabs It's only because my favorite is like flower and rolling up like I would just always choose flower over everything, you know I mean, I kind of have been using vapes recently just like out of convenience and edibles out of convenience I'm kind of like really into edibles right now, but it doesn't pass flower like nothing will beat flower for me I don't know. Do you see yourself having babies one day? Guys, this is so crazy. I was just thinking about this. If you would have asked me this when I was 20 or 21, I would have literally told you my life plan was to be married and have a kid by age 27. I'm 25. At the time, I was in a long-term relationship and I lived with them. So I literally thought it was going to happen and it literally could have. Sometimes I think about how my life would have been so different if I had a kid. Anyways, anyways, I'm 25 and I'm single. No baby daddy. <laughs> except i have a cat i mean i don't think i'm gonna be married with a kid by age 27. i literally don't even have a crush right now i don't even have a person that i like how fucking boring <laughs> it's like really hard for me to think about a kid when i'm not even in a relationship so i don't really know i always thought it was like my calling to be a mom i always really wanted to be a mom so bad i like love kids i have a little brother that's 13 years younger than me and like i have little cousins and like i don't know i just like love kids but now i've kind of been thinking like i'm so picky with who i want to bring into my life that it's like what if i don't find a guy that's suitable enough to be a dad like i have to work on that part first so who knows if i was to get pregnant right now but oh my god wait this reminds me of another question that you guys asked what are your thoughts on the dating culture at the moment because girl yeah i kind of feel the same way i realized like i'm just like not gonna make it a priority right now to like search for somebody to like i don't know i kind of was at a point where i was like i have so much love to give and i'm so annoyed that i have nobody to give the love to that i was like let me like go like really search for like a suitable partner and now i'm just like i can't find them i tried i tried i tried 
I tried. I need to do my liner, but I need to talk shit first. I realized for so long I was trying to like find somebody to like grow with like I was trying to find a person that we could grow together and have this story of like we came up together and we got an apartment and then we got a house and da 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 I kept trying to do that well guess what I'm 25 now and I accomplished things so I'm past the point of the come up so I need to find somebody that came up already <laughs> Like somebody like established in themselves and is secure and stable Like I can't find somebody to grow with anymore because I already did the growing Of course I'm still evolving and I'm not a perfect person and I'm always gonna get better But like life, like I worked really hard to like sort my shit out So I'd like to find a guy who could like also sort their shit out I don't think that's too much to ask for honestly Okay, let me try to do this without messing up <laughs> I did it kind of good Back to the dating question I think I'm just gonna like let the right guy find me And maybe, maybe, maybe Sign up for Raya again <laughs> But I think I'm just gonna like Let the universe find the guy for me What do you use to edit your videos? For YouTube, I use Final Cut Pro X then for Instagram, sometimes I use just like the Instagram app. Most times I just use the Instagram app. But then sometimes I do use Final Cut Pro. It really just depends on like what the video is. If I want like a grainy effect or like a vintage camera effect, I will use prequel. But I mostly use prequel for photos. Like a lot of my photos on Instagram are edited on prequel. And I really like it for pictures. It's good for videos too. I just like don't use it that much. I really like my makeup today. I feel like I'm doing it. Like exactly how I like it which fucking makes sense because I'm doing an everyday makeup routine so you would think I'd put my favorite things on my face huh Ooh, what tips do you have for someone trying to stop smoking nicotine wraps I would say try hemp wraps you can try king palms but if you want something that you're gonna like roll up like a blunt try hemp wraps Obviously, it's not gonna have nicotine or tobacco, so you're not gonna have like that same like kick It might not satisfy your need, but like that's a sacrifice, you know, if you're gonna cut it out You're gonna cut it out, you know, like my bad habit is backwards I will come clean right now. My bad habit is backwards. I go through phases where I'm like, I'm not gonna smoke them anymore because they start making me feel sick and they trigger my GERD. And then sometimes I go through phases where I'm like, I'm gonna smoke them once a week. It really depends how my body's feeling. I feel like if I smoke a backwood once a week, it's okay. Like my body doesn't feel nasty or anything. But as soon as I get to the point where I'm like really craving backwoods, I'm like, nah, I can't. Like I don't like when my body feels that way. My body starts feeling sick. And then the thing that my body is craving is making me feel sick so that's like a horrible cycle to be in so yeah i don't like when that happens i know that when i'm really stressed out like i'm gonna smoke a backwood but i do smoke like hemp wraps all the time i try to limit it to like once a week but good luck on your journey i would say the most effective way is quitting cold turkey that has always helped me whenever I feel nasty about smoking backwoods I literally am like okay no more and then I won't touch them for like three months four months then I'll like touch it again maybe smoke a little bit and then kind of like get over it. I go through phases I go through phases so I get it I get it we're human everybody got their advice I always say that like I literally don't drink I don't do anything I don't even drink coffee so am I really gonna like hate myself if I fucking crave a backwood once a week you know how do you get your day back up when someone or something ruins your mood honestly i've been thinking about this lately because it happens at times to me and i would say you need to get that frustration out somehow like do something that's gonna calm you down and get you back to like a more grounded space sometimes i journal if i really want to like curse somebody out i'll journal I will, really will, and it helps me, and it just gets that energy out, like, it's stuck there in my head sometimes, and I need to, like, get that shit out. So I'll journal, sometimes I'll call my grandma, my grandma likes to vent, I like to vent, so sometimes we just be venting to each other. I feel like it's better to say it to, like, my family than, like, I don't know, explode. <laughs> sometimes I try to do something calming, relaxing. One thing that really helps me is, like, giving myself some type of task, so, like, maybe it's doing the dishes, maybe it's cleaning my room, maybe it's cooking 
cooking a meal like a task that could be completed like something that when i'm done i will feel like oh yeah i did that and that just like puts me in the mindset to like keep doing things oh i did that i might as well do this and then i might as well do this on my to-do list now i might as well answer emails and i don't know work out i feel like it causes like a chain reaction at least for me and i realize when i just try to like ignore the situation or like just put it in like bury it down and try to just like focus on anything else or like just whatever if i don't let myself process it it's gonna keep bothering me and i just don't want to have that feeling in the back of my brain just like something irking me so i kind of like to like fix my mood before i continue my day because i know i'm just gonna be pissed off and i don't like being pissed off my job is to make videos that make people happy i can't sit here being pissed off <laughs> oh my god but i finished my makeup we're literally on the last step that feels so good oh my god there's so many questions left i'm like thinking should i just do like a speed round right now like real fast do you ever think you'll get tired of being an influencer i thought about this before i'm not gonna lie like i think one day i might not want to be on camera anymore like hearing so many opinions about yourself all the time is crazy it's not normal <laughs> Like a person who does not have this job does not hear this many opinions about themselves every single day. Like I wake up to hate comments every single day. It's weird, but my job is like literally so amazing in every other way. So I take it. I take it, you know, I'm strong. I'm that bitch. I don't care. Say what you want. Mm, don't like I think we should all be nice to each other, actually. <laughs> But I think eventually, eventually, maybe when I'm like 40, <laughs> I will retire from being on screen and I'll do something behind the scenes, but I still probably will be in social media marketing. Like I would love to be the manager for other influencers. Like I'd love to be that person with like a lot of experience in the field and manages like the new upcoming influencers, you know? So I don't know. I feel like my career is like ever evolving and it always has been so i literally don't know what will happen but i have thought about it before oh this is a cute question i'm gonna end on this favorite thing about yourself physical and personality wise this is actually like a nice reflection because i feel like i don't often think about this my favorite thing about my physical like i don't know i'm pretty confident about my physical appearance i feel like maybe when i was really young i wasn't but my adult years like i don't give a fuck i think it's seen as like conceited to say that you love yourself and you love how you look but i literally do like but my personality is where i have the issues um so let me think i'm pretty <laughs> personality wise i think I think I'm a person who like when they have a goal they want it. They want it so bad I think I am a go-getter. <laughs> I don't know I just like don't give it up sometimes like maybe to a fault Like maybe that's not a good thing, but like when I want something I like want it so bad I want to get it so bad So I feel like that has helped me so much in like my career and like even my self-confidence Because when I tell myself like I want to be a confident person who can like get on a stage talk on a microphone like feel confident feel beautiful like love their outfit i want to be that person so bad that like since i'm a go-getter it's like oh i'm i'm gonna get there i'm going to do it like i'm gonna do anything i can to like get myself to where i want to be and i think that i like that <laughs> and I think that that's my favorite thing about myself or at least it's the thing that like helps me the most in life But yes, I am like literally so faded <laughs> Like it's literally hard for me to keep a point right now. Also, my camera is now dying So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one As always give me video requests down below and if you made it to the end I want you to comment your favorite animal so I know that you're in the cool club. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye